being a role model has always just been a part of my existence uh, to try to be a positive role model, to try to convey a positive message, and to give someone a helping hand whenever I could, or I saw somebody down, try to lift them up, and and I think that's what I'm getting back from all of these people that's here tonight. We continue our Black History Month Sports Plus. I have never seen her in a bad mood. She is as humble as she was athletic, and that's saying a lot. The amazing thing about Jackie Joyner Kersey is her second act is almost as great as her first, and that is saying a lot. With the help of photographer Randy Schwenker, we give you the story. It's a 60,000 square foot facility. It's now 24 years old, and over 10,000 youth and adults enjoy it each year. And the woman whose name is on the building just happens to be arguably the greatest female athlete ever, Jackie Joyner Kersey. What do you think your mom in heaven would be thinking if she was looking down and seeing this place? No, my mom in heaven, I'd probably she'd be like, I knew she could do it. <laughs> because my mom, my mom believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. You know, she saw me doing things that I didn't even know I had the ability to do. Her ability on the track has been well documented. Three Olympic gold medals and six overall. But her ability in making her foundation flourish is equally as fabulous. At the JJK Center, they've opened up an academy 54 students, grades K through third grade, now attend. But we also understand that academics are just as important as the athletics, so they, they complement one another. So then we took the challenge on trying to start a JJK Academy, and that, that's where we are today to try to give our young people and families a fighting chance, which is, is private, you know, we raise the funds, you know, so, and it's challenging at times, but in the end, it's worth it. The challenge is money. It costs 10 grand to educate each child. So counting the expenses overall for the JJK Center, we're talking about an operating budget of $3.2 million. Many of these centers and foundations fold like a napkin, but here they are 24 years later and still standing. No, I wasn't gonna allow that to happen. And I think the people around me who believe in the mission, who believe in the vision, you know, we have tried different ways of how we go about fundraising. We take my autobiography, turn it into a curriculum. Yes, her story of growing up poor and dealing with severe asthma is a pretty good life lesson of overcoming obstacles. Believe it or not, Frank, I see a lot of little girls and and even with some of the little boys who struggle and I see myself in them. I see myself from the standpoint when I didn't have a pair of shoes, I didn't have the right outfit to wear, I didn't get the, the, uh, the new Christmas gift. I see myself in all of them. She could be living a more glamorous life as a legendary athlete, but JJK chose to serve and help kids instead, and she's not stopping. The work is never done, it's always in progress. Jackie is using her world record total points in the heptathlon to raise funds for her foundation. She's inviting generous donors to give $7,291 this year. Her point total in the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, 7,291. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 